All right then. Uh, this time we're gonna replace uh, this gear selector forks. Uh, first and second, third and fourth, sixth and fifth, and the reverse. I do hope they all the same. The ones inside the gearbox. Uh, I already stripped the gearbox. Uh, I already take all the bolts. I have a video on my playlist how to take all the um, the bolts off, the gear selector. The um, I already fit the four gear sport shaft as well. And um, yeah, a lot more content is gonna be coming. So don't forget uh, like, share, and subscribe. It helps support the channel. And um, yeah, so now I'm gonna take you through how to um, replace these gear selector forks. So the first thing first, we need to put the camera and pull this cover off. Cover is out of the way. Then to um, to change this gear selector forks, I'm gonna have to pull all of this off because there's no a, any other way you can do without taking this off. And if you guys see, I already fit the um, LSD. Uh, it's on my playlist as well. Step by step, how to do, how to fit the bearings, everything. So, but for now, I'll just do. Um, to the forks, let's do the forks. So I'll take this washer from here. And then now I need to lift all the cogs at the same time. I think I'm gonna put some gloves because this edge they are really sharp. Normally I do without gloves because I don't like to wear gloves. Um, but if I have to, I have to. So I'm going to try and take these two cogs from this side first. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just lay the gearbox and it will be easier for the gears to come out. Like this. See, and if you don't have much experience doing this, just try to um, to fit, to leave the cogs, the way you guys know, you're gonna be able to find out which one is which. So if you guys understand what I'm saying. So, yeah, so now I'm pulling this off. Hope you guys can see here. Yes, you guys can see it. Let me lower the camera a little bit. See? So I'm going to take these two forks off, it just pulls off easily. This is the first and second, third and fourth, uh, or third and fourth, um, let's see. So the biggest one should be the first, let's see if it fits, it does fit, and then the mid one, let's see. At least if it's match with the one was here. You guys see the difference? One is brace or whatever it is, and the other one is steel. So let's fit down here. And these things have to to make sure they will match as well. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to to slide the, um, what's it called, the shifter. So these two forks are done. This is out of the way. Stop moving. Just put the bolt on the need. So I'm gonna put this out of the way as well. And I'm gonna turn the gearbox around now. This one, it just slides off like that. I'm gonna leave on the top here 
hopefully you guys can see it. And I pull this fork out and see if it's this much. Let's see if it's if it match. Uh, not really. Let me get this one again. Oops, 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 oops. You guys see the difference? Look at the difference. One, one fit on this. This fork won't fit. It's too small here. Let me see if the reverse will match. Mm, maybe, maybe not. No, it doesn't match. It doesn't match at all. Um, it doesn't match at all. So. Um, No, it doesn't match. So the fifth and sixth doesn't fit and the reverse doesn't fit. I had this problem before on the other gearbox, but I don't see why not leaving the standard ones. Because I never broken a reverse, either a fifth or gear a fifth or sixth gear. So the mainly the first and second, third and fourth, they are going. So um, yes, yeah, so the next step I'll be taking this out of the way and I'm gonna clean all this case, uh, clean all the, um, the glue around it. I'm gonna take the leaf off as well, clean everything and assembly, assembly all the gears together. So the case is all clean. I put a little bit of grease on the bearings, it's pretty lube. I clean all this surface here, so when it's all done, I need to put some glue as well. I clean the gears a little bit. All the gears is ready to go in. The diff is there, ready to go in as well. And by the way, I'm doing this BMW timing chain. It's a N47 engine. If you guys know about BMW, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, really nice BMW, looks looks very good. So, yeah, but that's on my working hours, doing my, my job. So this is my part-time job. So, yeah, let's get back into this and assembly all the gears. So, first... I think I'm gonna start with with this one, the one have the um, reverse. No, <laughs> now first I need to start with the LSD. That's first thing first, and then I need to go with this one. So the big sprocket from the bottom. That's it. <coughs> Turn it around. Um, I think I have to somehow try to fit this in now before it's too late. Something like that. And these two gears I have to fit about on the same time, otherwise they would not um, go in. So let me see if I can do this and show you at the same time. Because I'm gonna have to lift these gears so I'll be able to, <coughs> pardon, to be able to um, slide this in. So let's go for it. it doesn't go in so I have to lift this one a little bit and 
now this will come out. Oh, there we go. It's quite easy this time. Um, it's quite easy. It went in pretty well. Take the gloves off. I'm going to show you. So it went in very well. Um, yes, all nice. So now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of grease on these bearings. Just a tiny bit. When you start the car, it's not going to be all dry because I clean with some brake cleaner. Um, so yes, guys, I think that's it for this video. I just, I just want to show you how to change the forks. Because I want to make a video separate for each thing. So but just step by step. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make a video how to close the gearbox. Because it's, it's that easy. And if you guys want me to make the video how to, to close the gearbox. The, put the case in and glue, tighten and everything. Just let me know in the comments below. And I think that's going to be it for the, oh, I'm missing the washer here. So, yeah. Stay tuned, guys, for the next videos. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.